Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to another video here. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I've done over the past two days and just really walk through the stock analysis and really the Bitcoin analysis too because uh, the Bitcoin and Mara have been behaving a little bit differently um, so over the past few days. So uh, let's go into the TFSA. This is a uh, this is where what we did is we bought 24 uh we already had 400 we bought another 2000 clean spark our average price is now at 723 so basically what it's at right um we bought 1400 mara at about 14 or 1675 15 micro strategies at about 479 and 200 uh upstart at 3740 now this is in a tfsa so you're not really trading this so I'm really just buying this on a more of a weekly time scale. So we're going to walk through what I think about all those, um, as well as here in the uh, margin account, still have the Clean Sparks shares, still have the Mara shares. I sold three Marathon Digital $17 puts, uh, and I have 4,000 plug shares. Now, these are looking to get traded uh, today, today or tomorrow, like within this week. I'm not long this company by any means. I'm simply just looking for a, a simple donation from the market. Um, and I'm going to walk you through what I like about that trade as well right so let's go here whip out the charts and see what see where um what i'm looking at uh and what i'm thinking based on what the chart says now paypal paypal was one of the, the my most recent videos just happens to be what i have open here uh this is the support line right around six uh 6486 um, and let me add some some of the moving averages and, and we can start drawing in some lines here uh, as well but PayPal um, is more of a play the news play right now uh, the monthly breaking out uh, if you add the MACD here I know it's converging converging up on the MACD um, and I and I really like uh, the next level of support is kind of here at 7250 so I expect if we have good news on Thursday uh, this stock could really be up into the 72 73 dollar range um, and if it breaks past there maybe even touch 75 right we have a lot of room to run in a bullish breakout on PayPal uh, so I, I like it a lot um, let's move on to the first one clean spark take away the monthly Go back to the weekly. We'll start at the bigger time scales. These are just previous drawn lines as that I've identified as support and resistance. Um, we can kind of get rid of all these here, um, just just to clear it up and kind of draw some lines as to what I'm thinking. Uh, you can see this kind of trend line um, with withhold from the breakout point. We can say right here, you know, if it breaks through, uh, obviously we're looking more bearish. But now we've found a bottom, and look at where it bottomed right off of uh, really what was that? This is the 20 moving average on the weekly, right? Um, we're bringing up the 50 moving average, yet we're staying below the 200 moving average. So our, our next really layer to get back above would be this 200 moving average. But we saw it up, a big up, came back down, uh, and now we're looking to make its next next kind of Fibonacci level. And this is what you look for. You have an uptrend, uh, uh, goes to highs, comes back down but it goes to lower lows and now we're looking at it to make new highs right in terms of the weekly uh, going down to the smaller time frame you can kind of see this rounding bottom the MACD is looking to cross back over um, it's still above the 200 moving average on the daily uh, it is below the 50 it is below the um, 20 but if we kind of can round this bottom and start accumulating back up again uh, this stock could easily get back up to this 15, 16, 17, 18 dollar range, right? So I like CleanSpark, I think it's a good fundamental company, love that it mines Bitcoin, um, and that's our play there. Moving on to Marathon Digital, same thing, Bitcoin miner again, big move up, move down, but it's got lower lows, look at that, and we're seeing this rounding bottom, and, and as well, I, I, I'm not gonna pull it up just because it's gonna add some time to the video, but uh, order flows, order flows have been coming out heavy throughout this stage, and the last two days, we've actually had order flows back in to Marathon Digital, and I want you to note that this stock is down 3% um, just on the day, but really over the past like couple days, Bitcoin is trading down hard. So we'll analyze Bitcoin stock in a second, but let's just get through micro strategies uh, as well. This was the Fibonacci levels uh, from, if we zoom out to the weekly, pull it back, zoom this down. Oops. And this is really the Fibonacci levels from when it squeezed. Bitcoin got 69K. This was a Bitcoin play. Uh, back down the lows, double tap the lows. And this is where we're looking to settle right there. And on the daily, we we're also looking to have kind of tr this sharp trend line down. Like I, I really want you guys to identify that that this is a trend line down, right down to support 
tapping off these tails but as we round the bottom and we break back up we're still in the bullish sentiment because if we zoom out um, a little bit more we can see the breakout line right here as well as lower lows once again right so when a stock makes a big drastic move up people make money people want to take their money people want to short because they lost money when they got short squeezed out possibly they short again and but the principle is is the overall value of the company whether it's misvalued at any point a long time uh it is now making a, a lower low and then value buyers will come in they'll accumulate shares and the traders will kind of recognize that the trend is shifting and they will start buying buying back their shorts and then shifting into to buy zones too as well right and let's take a look at upstart as well because this is the one that kind of might have a slightly different chart because it's uh not a bitcoin miner but still it's had this market uptrend pulls back to support levels pulls back to kind of previous resistance levels and bounces right and we got a lot of layers up here that that we want to get through to make this uh, a kind of a bull trend bounce back up but Upstart definitely has room to run. It, it's trading back above the moving averages. The MACD is really converging up here. And when you zoom out to the weekly, but we, we sh pull this. Oops. I got to go back to the daily. Um, and then possibly the weekly. Um, you can kind of see that it's had its high it had its kind of pullback obviously bad earnings we expected that interest rates have not been cut yet and and you kind of see this bearish this full downtrend and we're really looking to break out soon this this could be this next couple months could and next couple weeks could be very huge for upstart right so that's what we're looking at this is a long-term hold these are all long-term stocks it's in a tfsa uh you, you can't just trade trade them intraday whereas we can with within the margin cap so let's take a look at plug power i'm going to walk you through the five minute show you kind of what i've seen uh nothing on the date nothing on the weekly but i want you to know on the weekly we were we are massively oversold and we've been kind of coming down on this massive trend down sloping support look at this resistance line look at this trend line down right from the gap down oops right from the gap down all the way we've been trending down and, and there's a lot of room to kind of make this break up it, this stocks just don't go to zero they just got a 1.6 billion dollar loan um there's a lot of positive information coming about uh this stock in terms of they've been oversold but hey look we might recover and dip by right they issued more shares they got a loan but this is all done this this is what the sell-off was this is what this whole downtrend was was the company was in bad financial position and, and we're looking once again the macd is looking to cross on the upscale and what i was really looking for is on the we have to include the extended hours take it to the five minute which is what i was watching we saw the news that they just got a loan and then you just take this from highs and bring it right down through the lines and we're sitting at a nice support uh, or kind of a slight tra trend down on an overall trend up right so what that means is if we can break and, and get above here we're looking to go bullish and possibly test through new highs and and make our next wave slash level up and that's why i'm really holding here i'm not really looking at the macd i'm looking positive information the daily looks bullish there's news backing this people who have just recently bought are gonna gonna sell because they just got free gains they gapped up into gains and we see this kind of slight trend down but overall we're getting rid of the sellers we're getting rid of the profit takers probably shorts are covering and this is a news event so this thing can move multi-day multi-day runs can can definitely happen uh from a catalyst like this the the 3333 uh the 333 zone looks to be a lot of support and resistance um uh, for this stock um, highly traded where a lot of volume is kind of coming in there's a lot of sellers as well as a lot of buyers up there so I want to see it even if this thing trends down eventually uh, it's going to, to should break up and see this move in um, that's really what I'm looking for in terms of plug in th this stock really has if you go to the hourly take off the extended hours um, this stock has moved room to run all the way up to four bucks Right, that's kind of really the breakdown. That's where your 200 moving average is sitting at on the one hourly, um, and even on the daily, a lot of moving averages up at that 380, 390 mark. 
especially in this slight bullish trend, that's where I expect it to get to um, in the next coming days, right? And finally, let's look at Bitcoin because Bitcoin is insane. So this is a lot to walk through. The um, So I don't want to overwhelm you by this insane chart because there's a lot of colors on here. And I kind of want to point and show you what I'm meaning. So let's first of all, let's take away the moving averages. We're just going to hide those there for a second. Um, we're going to take away this this black these black Fibonacci zones because these can also get a little bit worrisome and let's just identify this was the breakout on the weekly this is where we see that the trend of the stock is going is, is kind of trending up and now we can what we can do is we can remove this blue line because as you can see we broke through that so the next trend line uh, of kind of support is this final blue line up here and now we have a lot of buy zones, but the, the overall trend th throughout time, the, the, the asset price should progress in the general up direction uh, based on what we have seen. Um, and I want to look at the daily. So after the ETF news, we have the, the ETF sell the news hype um, and bring these two bearish red lines down. Now, what we had identified is 40,600, a lot of times it bounced off here and this acted as a good support level and launch pads for the stock. It finally broke down as we've watched this trend and we're really looking for the bounce off of 38,200. And 38,200 is going to be a very important point for, for Bitcoin in the near future and what I expect to be kind of a bounce zone. In the near future, one of these lines, well, look at this red line, let's pull this Let's take that. Let's take that green line away. Let's take this, both of these lines, and kind of extend them down. So this is the full full bear trend, and this is the like kind of nicer nicer candle line. And look at where that we can extend this down to. So in the next coming days, before the end of January, we are expecting um, potentially a big drop. But because I'm so bullish on, on Bitcoin, and we're gonna have a video about Bitcoin coming out soon. Um, it's gonna be just about what do I think the world is going in the next 10, 20 years? We're not gonna be talking about uh, any charts. I'm gonna make a nice PowerPoint, and we're gonna just walk through on, on what global aspects and fundamentals I think the world's going to possess. But in terms of a chart perspective from Bitcoin, we are looking to kind of bounce right around this $38,200 mark. And for an asset class where the market is going down heavily uh, to, to kind of act very bearish like this, this is just because Bitcoin is a heavily chart traded stock, right? So when the chart looks bearish, a lot of people are just going to come in and, and sell it down because they were also the ones who most likely bought it up because the chart was bullish. And now that the chart is bearish, um, they're selling it down. Now, I do expect us to see a bounce and continue this overall uptrend, especially in towards the Bitcoin halving event. Um, and the Bitcoin having event obviously be a sell the news kind of event too before we then have liquidity issues throughout Bitcoin as we always do in having. But Bitcoin has not converged yet on the MACD. It still looks like it, it has kind of room to, to take a deeper dive. But if it does start to kind of tail out and keep this uptrend and pull back up, we look very, very bullish um, on Bitcoin. So anyways, guys, uh, stay tuned. Lots of moves are coming in the market, especially this week, and we're going to be covering that uh, after this week as well into what we think is uh, coming up in terms of the last week of January because big, big moves are coming back. A lot of co uh, corporate buybacks have started, and there's lots of new money entering the market. So anyways, guys, stay tuned. Have a good one.